Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Glad you all stopped by. This video is basically going to be a newer or the 2022 version of a video I did back about nine years ago. I'll leave the link to that video down below if you care to go back and watch it. Uh, got a respectable amount of views, but more and more people keep asking the question about the Delta single lever faucet. So I thought I'd shoot another video and uh, you go over which parts I think you should purchase. And in a minute here, I'll bring up the box, the model of this particular faucet, and I'll show you my uh, OEM Master Repair Assortment Kit, which are original Delta parts, which is what I'm going to encourage you guys to go out and find rather than go to the big box stores. Uh, this particular kit is made by Wolverine Brass. Now, Wolverine Brass will not sell to homeowners or DIYers. You have to be a licensed plumbing professional. Uh, but they are available. You can go directly to Delta. I, I know Amazon sells um, OEM Delta parts, and I will leave links to them down below the video. So uh, if you're new here, you may want to consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that notification bell. So uh, you'll be notified when I post a new video. So shortly here, let me stop this. Let's go over this particular model. And I'm going to do a complete rebuild. This particular faucet is uh, supplied with a hose and spray. I just didn't put it, uh, I didn't put the hose in its uh, little uh, place here because uh, no need to. When we open this up, I'll show you. Now you may or may not have a hose and spray. If you don't, no problem. You're not going to need to replace the diverter, but for those of you who do, I'll show you how to do it. So sit tight, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, quickly, we're going to look at the model of this particular faucet. This particular faucet is a Delta model 400LE-WF. It's a single lever faucet with a hose and spray. Uh, now, if you don't have a hose and spray, it's going to be a different model number, but uh, as far as fixing the innards or the rebuilding process, it's going to be the same for a faucet uh, without a spray as it's going to be for a faucet with a spray. The only thing that's going to be different is the, the diverter, which actually operates the spray. So, let me bring this up. Now this I've had for a long, long time. This is my original um, OEM kit that I purchased from a company called Wolverine. And you can see right there what it says. It says Delta OEM Master Repair Kit. Now you don't have to go out and buy a Master Repair Kit because this kit includes parts in here for Delta showers, for uh, bathroom faucets, uh, for two handled faucets, etc. And we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing the model I just previously showed you. But it comes with an array of parts in here. You can see we have O rings, we have the stainless steel balls, both for the kitchen faucet and for the bathroom or, or the shower body style uh, Delta faucets. We have the diverters here. We have the rubber seats, also with the key that we're going to be using to open up this faucet. We have springs, we have, you'll see a couple of stems there for the two-handle faucets. You'll see the, uh, you'll see some diverters there for two-handle faucets, some cam washers, again, some more cam washers. They're different uh, in the shower body than they are the faucet. And again, this is a, a little, this little kit here is a, just a, a kit for a Delta kitchen faucet repair. They also sell them in small little kits, but I carry the master kit because uh, I never know what I'm going to go in and find at someone's house. But basically, these are the parts I used. The other thing you're going to want to have on hand uh, is some waterproof silicone lube. This is Wolverine's brand. I buy a lot of stuff from Wolverine, um, but this is readily available. Uh, this you can use aftermarket, uh, but uh, yeah, the slick and slide works really great. And without further ado, let's get into this repair. All right, guys, so we're going to go in on Master Repair Kit. In this case, I'm going to grab the little tool that they give you. And first thing you're going to do before you do anything is you're going to shut the water off down below. You're going to shut the hot. You're going to shut the cold. You're going to put this handle all the way back. You're going to make sure there's no water coming out of the nozzle or the spout. 
whichever you prefer. And if the water does not stop leaking out of the spout, and you have those valves under the sink shut off really tight, then that means those valves are going to have to be serviced, so you're probably going to have to go down and shut the main water supply to the house. I don't suggest taking this apart if the faucet is leaking at all, because you'll have a problem getting it back together again. With that said, we're going to get our little tool here. We're going to go in here. Now, this is a brand new faucet, naturally, and everything's going to come apart. But I can tell you in the real world, sometimes these Allen keys don't loosen up. They're all corroded. They're all crudded away. And in a lot of cases, you may be faced with drilling this out. You may have to drill it out. And rather than go through the pains of retapping it and getting a new screw, I would just go get a new handle. So the handle's going to come off. We have to back this up just a little more. And now that you got the handle off, now you have the, I don't know, I call this a cap nut. Uh, it has flats on it. And uh, in this case, it's going to come off, as you can see. But in your case, it's probably been on there for a number of years. So I suggest using a pair of channel locks with no teeth on it. So you can go in here and you can grab these flats. Uh, you'll adjust it accordingly without marring the chrome up. So there's your channel lock wires with no teeth. Once we get this off, again, make sure the water is off. This is going to come up. We're going to set it on the side. And we have what we like to call here the um, cam and seal. And you can simply you can actually grab the ball and just pull everything right up and it's going to come right out. And just note that there is a notch on this and that notch has to go back and match up with the notch in the faucet. But we'll, we'll go into that in a minute. I'll reposition the camera and show you that. So we're going to take that out. We're going to take the ball out now to go down and get those uh, seats and springs out. I mean, I simply use this little tool is kind of like an awl. I will say this, Delta makes what they call a purge and set tool that I misplaced, so I don't have it to show you for in this video, but I'm going to leave a link. Look up in the cards up above. I did a video about the purge and set tool. I'll leave a, a link up in the corner of the video. I'll also leave links down below. I don't know that you can get that tool anymore, but if you can, I certainly will leave you links. But I come in here and I just kind of get these seats and springs out. I mean, you, this is like a little, got two different ends on it. You can use it, you could use a regular awl. Just makes life easy. You go in there and you just poke them out. Now, when I do a rebuild, I do a complete rebuild. I don't just change one spring or the other spring because it just, it's stupid. It makes absolutely no sense to do that. So after I got all these parts out, I am going to proceed to take the spout off. And you can do that by pulling up on it. Again, this is a new faucet, so it's coming off easily. And let me just lower this camera a bit. Let me get this down a little bit. Yeah, it's a little better vantage point for you. And what you're going to see here is, you're going to see the, this is the diverter for the hose and spray. And we're not going to look at that right this second, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, there are two O-rings, there's one here, and there's one on the bottom. And you're going to want to take that and, and actually get that off. And actually this, this little tool comes in handy, this little angle tool here. So that's one. And then we're going to go in there and see if we can get the other one. Sometimes these are going to be so corroded and, and hard that they're just going to break off, which is going to make life easy for you. So there goes the O-rings. And now, once you do that, I mean, it's simply a matter of reversing the procedure. Now, all the parts in this faucet are brand new, so I am going to take 
the parts and put them back in again. Okay, but let's just uh, get over to this diverter. Now, the diverter you may have to pry out. Sometimes they're a little tough getting at. But if you have a hose and spray, I recommend while you're in here, uh, let's go in and get this this diverter at. And sometimes you have to really, oh, there it comes. It just came right out. So that's the diverter. That is a delta diverter for a single lever faucet. And, you know, I'll, I'll take one out of the box here, but you can see. But like I said, this is a brand new faucet. So the procedure would be to reverse the procedure. Uh, you're going to put your diverter back in here. You want to make sure that that's in there nice and snug. You may have to, you may have to push in on it when you're putting the nozzle down, but I'll, 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 when I get to it, I'll show you. So let me take this out first. Well, let me get the O-rings on. So we'll take this and we'll get that first O-ring down on the bottom. And that'll go, once it finds its spot, it's going to flip right into place. That's one. This is two. And you want to get that in that little recess slot there. Then I'm going to take my diverter. I'm going to put that back down in the faucet. And again, you may have to push on it. Then I'm going to get my slick and slide. Excuse me. Okay, and we're going to, you know, liberally grease up the finger here and, and put a nice coating of grease around both O-rings. And you may even want to put a, put a little coat of uh, grease on the nozzle in here. Just put some grease on your finger and go around the top, go around the bottom, and get that on the nozzle so that when this goes down, it'll slip in nicely. And then you might have to push on this diverter as you get this nozzle to come down, and it'll, it'll, it'll find a spot. There it is. Okay. I'm not going to turn this nozzle around forward. All right, let me reposition this camera so you can see what's going on inside. All right, so hopefully this is a better vantage point for you. So what I do is I take the spring. Now, these are cone-shaped springs. Okay, the wider portion of the spring belongs down in the hole. So the narrow, the narrower part of the spring belongs up top. And what I usually like to do is I usually like to uh, put my washer on top of the cone like that. And then I will slide it on here and then I'll get this down in the hole and, and kind of just let everything slide down there. And you'll feel it when it sits down inside the recess. There it is. It just went down. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to put the wide part uh, facing down toward the bottom of the floor. Actually, excuse me. I'm going to put the rubber seat on first, followed by the narrower portion of the spring, which will sit into the rubber seat. And then I'm going to just take it and kind of slide it down there. Again, uh, check out that video on the purge and set tool if it's something that interests you. And that's down in there. Okay. All right, so now, again, I like to get some grease. I like to get some slick and slide. And I will put a little coating, not a lot, all over the ball. Now this 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 ball has a flat on it that's going to face you. It also has a, a little slot. You see that slot? That slot has to sit in. If you look inside the faucet here, you have to get that slot onto this little stud we're looking at. So it's going to actually going to go in there because that ball rides on that stud and you'll feel it when it snaps in there. So it's not in there at the moment but I will get it in in a second. There it is.
All right, so now we're in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to follow it with our cam washer and cap nut. And again, the cam washer has that little stud on it, if you will, right there. And that's going to fit in. There's a slot in the faucet. So you push that down. And what I like to do is I like to kind of push down on the ball because sometimes it has a tendency of, of, of popping up and it's going to keep you from tightening this cap nut up. So let me see if I can get my hands on that while I hold it down. And there I go. Now, you see I'm screwing this on. You also want to put a little uh, waterproof uh, silicone grease on the male threads. So this will go on nice and easy. Now what you'll do is you'll give it a little, not too much, I'm not going to kill this thing. You give it a little, a little snuggy poo, if you will. And guys, that's it. You just, uh, you just rebuilt the Delta faucet. Uh, as I like to say in a lot of my videos, this is not brain surgery. Uh, so you're going to shut this off. The ball, it's now off. I didn't put the handle on yet, but it's in the off position. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, turn the water on. And before you put the handle back on again, you can test things out. You can turn it on. You can go over to cold. You can go over to hot. You can shut it, make sure it shuts off. Now, it appears like it's off center here in the video, but that's just because of the way this thing is sitting. But there you go. I, I switched it around. So that's in the off position. That's cold water. That's hot water. In the middle is mixed. And then we're going to shut it off. You'll just want to get that handle after you greased it up, grease up the stem, take out that Allen key nut, grease it up real well, install it back on here, whack it up, and you are good to go. Guys, that's it. So guys, that's how it's done. Now, I'm going to encourage all of you to use OEM parts or original parts. I mean, you can go to the big box stores and get their versions of Delta's uh, replacement parts, and I've used them in the past, but I can tell you that for longevity purposes, you're going to want to use original parts. They're just better. Yes, they cost more money, but you know what? In the long run, I mean, you don't want to be doing this every couple of years. You just want to put it in and forget about it. And my experience with original parts versus aftermarket parts is you put these parts in, I never hear from the customer again, which is a good thing. Because who needs callbacks? Callbacks are uh, an annoyance to the consumer, and they cost money to the contractor. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad you stopped by. As always, if you aren't subscribed, you want to consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell. More importantly, hit the like button, because if you don't hit the like button, frankly, YouTube doesn't show these videos to anybody. I want to thank you once again. Look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Stay well, and as I always like to say, happy plumbing.